Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging system of equation for which we will find out real solutions. Equations are 4 times x cube plus y cube equal to 1 and log x base half plus log y base half equal to 2. So let's get started by considering equation numbers 1 and 2. Now I will proceed by writing two strong properties of log. First one is log a plus log b equal to log ab. This is property number one and property second that I will use it is log a base b equal to c. Then we can write a equal to b power c. Both properties I will use while solving. So I will consider very first equation first. So from here I can write from equation 1 x cube plus y cube equal to 1 by 4 by dividing both sides with 4. Now equation number 2. I will use property number 1, this one. So I can write this one equation as equation number 2. Let me write as log xy base is half equal to 2. Now property number 2, this second property, log xy base is half, right hand side is 2. So I can write in that place a equal to b power c. That means xy equal to half power 2. So I can write this is equal to 1 by 4. So our ultimate system will be, I will write x cube plus y cube equal to 1 by 4. First equation and second equation without log it is now xy equal to 1 by 4. So this system we have to solve ultimately. Let us solve. I will write x cube, let me write once, plus y cube equal to 1 by 4 and xy equal to 1 by 4. I will consider the very first equation and with one algebraic identity, it is a cube plus b cube formula. So I can write a plus b, that means x plus y, a square plus b square, so x square plus y square minus xy. And right hand side is 1 by 4. Now I will use one substitution. It is x plus y equal to a. This is our substitution. Now I will consider because x square plus y square is also required. So I will take a squaring of this equation. So x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to a square. From here I can write x square plus y square plus 2xy. xy is 1 by 4. So 2xy will be half. So ultimately x square plus y square it would be equal to a square minus half. This is our requirement in the second bracket. So let us put the values. x plus y is a. Now I will write here in this place x square plus y square. It is a square minus half. Minus xy. xy is 1 by 4. So minus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 4. Now I will consider the arithmetic minus half minus 1 by 4. So I can write minus 3 by 4 equal to 1 by 4. Now I will expand. I will be writing a cube minus 3a by 4 minus 1 by 4 equal to 0. Multiply this equation with 4. So equation will become 4a cube 
minus 3a minus 1 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. We have to find out solutions of this equation. Let's solve it. 4a cube minus 3a minus 1 equal to 0. If I will simply add all the coefficients, that means I am putting suppose a equal to 1 without applying rational root theorem, I can see it is 0. So that means this is true, a equal to 1 is our base solution. So now I can use synthetic division method. We know the coefficients of this cubic equation. So we will write those coefficients. Coefficient of a cube is 4. Coefficient of a square 0 as it is not available. Coefficient of a minus 3. Constant coefficient minus 1. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient we will write as it is. And a equal to 1 is our base solution. Now let's multiply. 1 times 4, 4. 4. 1 times 4, 4. 1. 1 times 1, 1. 0. These are coefficients for quadratic equation. So remember, I will write first 4a square plus 4a plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. We can easily see this is one perfect square. It is 2a plus 1 whole square. You can check a plus b whole square formula. So 2a square is 4a square. 1 square is 1. 2ab. So 2 times 2a times 1 is 4a. So from here I can conclude 2a plus 1 equal to 0. So we can write a is equal to minus half. But a cannot be equal to minus half. x plus y was our a. As x is positive, y is positive. So x plus a must be always positive. So a must be always positive. So we will reject this solution as it will generate complex solutions. So only one value is accepted that is a equal to 1. Let us put, so I will write a equal to 1. Conclusion is a was x plus y. So x plus y equal to 1. And second equation is x y equal to 1 by 4. Now this is easy system. We can easily solve this one. Sum of roots 1. Product of roots 1 by 4 or we can find the value of y and we can substitute here. So if I am writing one quadratic equation in t, t are the roots of equation. So x and y. So I can write sum of roots. Sum of roots x plus y and this is product of roots x, y. So I will write here t square minus sum of roots. So it is minus t. Then plus product of roots. So 1 by 4 equal to 0. Now again this is one perfect square. It is perfect square of t minus 1 by 2 equal to 0. You can check a minus b whole square. t square, t square is there. 1 by 2 whole square, 1 by 4 is there. 2 times a b. So it would be only t. That's why minus t. So from here I can write t is equal to half and half. Multiplicity 2. Now I will put what is t? t is x or t is y. Roots of equation. So let me consider if t is x half then y will be equal to half. Because x plus y is 1. So our ultimate solution because both values are equal. So we will write our solution as 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Final answer becomes half comma half.
this is our ultimate solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye friends till next video good luck and take care